G'day, I'm Gary Pye, and today I'm going to set up my new XP Pen 24 Pro drawing display. Now before I do, this video has to come with a bit of a disclaimer, and that is, I am not a smart man. Traditionally, I am very, very bad at setting up new electronics. And so I, I honestly don't know how this process is going to go because I haven't looked at it setting it up since I unboxed it. But I have my trusty little book from XP Pen. I've got one of my computers set up with the website with some help. And I can't guarantee how polished this video is going to be, but hopefully we'll get there and we'll see how we go. So let's get started. Yep. I had trouble setting up the machine. But here's the good thing. I need to say this up front. It had nothing to do with the machine itself. It had nothing to do with XP Pen. All of that was absolutely fine. Here was the problem. It was my drivers. If you're just buying your very first XP Pen display, if this is your first one, it's going to be fine first time out of the box because there's not going to be any driver conflictions. If, however, you're using another drawing tablet, like I said in my previous video that I used to use the little 5 by 8 inch Wacom tablet, you need to remove all of your drivers first. Now, I knew that when I started and I removed my drivers. However, there were a couple of files that were left over uh, in my device manager uh, that I didn't get rid of, that I didn't know about, and that was causing a conflict. So basically what would happen is uh, when I would try to draw on the pad, it, on the display, it wasn't recognizing the pen at all. So to fix it up, all I did was to get rid of all of the old driver files, making sure that everything was gone. Then I reinstalled the driver for the XP pen display. Everything worked first time perfectly. So it kind of changed the way I'm going to do this video. Originally, what I was going to do was I was going to do just like a straightforward how to set up your display. But instead, I thought what I'd do is to go through a couple of the little things to avoid, the little hints and tips that I found that I didn't know about when I started that would have been really helpful at the beginning. So I thought I'd go through a couple of those for you. So when you plug in your XP pin, you've got your power cord, then you've got your USB cable which controls your pen, and then you've got your HDMI cable which controls the display coming from your computer to the XP pen. It's really important that you make sure you get rid of all of your existing drivers for any of your other pointing devices like tablets and displays, because that was something that I didn't do. I'd left um, a file in there that was operating my Wacom, and that's what gave the conflict to my XP pen, and that's why I couldn't get it working. Once I removed that and reinstalled the driver for the XP pen, everything worked exactly as it should first time out of the box. So as I said, if you've never used a display before or a tablet before then it really shouldn't be a problem because you won't already have drivers in there uh, the xp pen display driver should be the only one you've got so therefore it should work absolutely fine and to get that all you need to do is to go to the xp pen website go to download pick the product that you've purchased in my case the artist 24 pro and that's going to give you both the manual you're going to want the manual and it's also going to give you the driver, in my case, Windows. That's just a matter of downloading it. Then once you download the zip file and unzip it, you'll have the EXE file. All you need to do is to run that. Once you run the EXE file, down in your tray at the bottom of your screen will be installed the XP Pen Pen Tablet screen. When you click on that, that's going to give you all the setup that you need for your new display and all you need to do there is to follow the instructions in the manual and you can set up your pen settings your express keys and your little roller on the side of your display 
so once you're all set up, you've got your device drivers updated, you've got everything plugged in, and you're set to go, there's one more thing that is really quite important to know, and that is make sure that your software that you're going to use is up to date. Because I was using an older version of Photoshop and it wouldn't work, it wasn't compatible with the XP pen. So I've updated now to the latest Adobe Photoshop 2021, and again, absolutely no problems. So once we turn on, I have the XP pen set up so that it will mirror the display that's on my screen. Using your display settings, you'll see down here, with multiple displays, I have it so that it duplicates these displays. You can extend it if you want to, so that whatever's on here, you can move to the edge of the screen, take it across to here. But obviously, for the because I'm going to be using this as my everyday display, it makes sense to have it duplicated and mirrored. Look, there are a lot of great YouTube videos out there on how to set up your XP pen display. And I must have watched just about every single one of them yesterday when I had my troubles. And don't get me wrong, the manual that comes with the display also gives you plenty of information. But I hope that what I've offered here just might help you avoid a couple of little hiccups uh, like I had yesterday. And one other thing that I'd like to, to just say, in the middle of all the chaos yesterday of trying to set this up when I was having trouble, I sent emails off to XP Pen's support. And I have to say, they got back to me really, really fast with lots of different answers and they, they couldn't have been any more helpful wanting to know, had I resolved my problem? Was there anything more they could do for me? So thank you to XP Pen for all of your efforts as well on this. So now that I've got it all set up, it's time to actually have some fun, play with it, learn what it can do. And in the next videos, I'll start to cover the individual software that I use and we'll go through and see what we actually think about how the XP Pen works. Okay, thanks guys. Bye-bye.